not getting any uh, this. So, namaste and uh, welcome you all to Planet to Soul Astrology. So, friends, today um, I am going to introduce to one of the charming, dashing, and very well versed, uh, a good researcher um, whom I met at Sedona. And it was a very short meeting, but later on, the Facebook is a big world where uh, we all people get united and we can interact with each other. So thanks to social media also. So here I would like to welcome uh, Shri Chanati uh, on Planet to Soul Astrology. And uh, it's my great, great honor and my pleasure to interact with you, to invite you on my channel. You are such a humble soul that you are so very uh, in in your words also i find uh, peace you know you write so nicely the mails whenever i read i i see the mind of the person when the when we receive the mail if we know the psychology we always see what type of words are used or uh, whatever person is in what uh, state of mind or something you know so this is all connected to our jyotish shastra this is all all connected to akal or sadhana or meditation or the beliefs that unless and until we are stable inside we cannot show us stable outside so um, i will give the brief introduction uh, of our uh, valued guest today uh, mr kshanati is a graduate of uh, drexel university and uh, also the ayurvedic institute so this is great so we can uh, uh, talk something about Ayurvedic medicines also because uh, we have to talk about then uh, this all root nakshatras, Mula nakshatra and all that. And Shanati uh, studied with uh, many uh, great teachers and specifically Mr. Vasant Lard. I am very, very uh, impressed with that because I really um, respect Mr. Lard very much. I have read uh, some of his articles and I always follow his. YouTube channel also, uh, Mahadev Levine, Simon Ji, and so many uh, teachers you have learned from. And uh, at present, uh, you are uh, practicing at your hometown, uh, which is at uh, Philadelphia, right? If I am pronouncing it rightly. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, one of the important thing that you have taught many webinars with the Saptarishi's astrology with Mr. Sunil John. So uh, this is a very good thing that uh, you are al already and always connected to uh, Jyoti Shastra in some or other way. So it keeps us it keeps us moving, you know. So all the way to. Thank you, Sunili Ji. I cannot tell you how much of an honor and pleasure it is to be sharing this work together. I am so excited for our time together today. For those of you who are joining from Shanati Jyotish community, I just want to introduce Sunili Yanjani Pawar. Uh, she um, has a been doing this uh, from her ancestry. She started from her grandfather. She um, earned Jyotish Bhutan, Jyotish Pante, Jyotir Vidya uh, from the school of Jyotish in Mumbai. Um, and, uh, and also has learned a lot from her uncle, Bhagyesh Tribeji, um, and many great teachers she has worked with. Uh, A.B. Sundaram Ji, uh, Patani Guruji, and um, she studies all different forms of Jyotish, like Jaimini, Nadi. She's very knowledgeable in all the different aspects of Jyotish. Uh, she does many presentations on Navamsha, Dashnamsha. She uses the divisional charts on her channel. She's also been on Cosmic Insights, and she currently practices in her hometown of Mumbai, India. Uh, she also teaches in, in Mumbai and also online. Um, so please follow her YouTube channel, Planet to Soul. Her website is planettosoul.com. And uh, Sunili Ji, thank you so much again for having me to do this work together. Yeah, it is such yeah. an honor and pleasure. It's, it's totally honor. And uh, today's topic, uh, Kshanati, we are going to talk about the Atma Karaka. 
uh, how we can connect the nakshatras to atma karaka because uh, uh, you must be knowing that in our shastra as per the parashar phs uh, he has written the karaka adhyay and uh, he has wrote uh, he has written many things about the atma karaka planet he has written about jaimini rushi also but jaimini rushi separately um, invented the jaimini system where the uh, chara dasha sthira dasha and atma karak amatya karak different point of views were discussed and the theory is totally different but their nakshatras are not involved in that theory but uh, uh, but shanati what uh, always we uh, when we learn the things when we experience the thing automatically nakshatras come in our mind because nakshatras are the base of jyotish shastra and without a nakshatra we cannot uh, do anything because if we want to predict we have to go to the root of the planet and each planet uh, are divided into nakshatras you know so today's topic um, particularly we will talk about the atma karaka planet so everybody must be knowing about the atma karaka uh, planet uh, highest uh, degree planet so now we would like to uh, listen to you your points and your uh, knowledge about it thank you sunili i am so excited to also hear all of your wisdom and knowledge on this topic and i am curious to all of the aspects we will discuss today um just to introduce the topic to start is the atma karaka is the supreme position in the chart of all of the positions in the chart it's kind of the position that you want to pay the most attention to uh when you're looking in the chart it's the planet of the highest degree but it has a much deeper meaning than just being the planet of the highest degree one of my teachers earlier used to explain to me that the planets work like the executive branch of the government you have the president you have the vice president you have the secretary you have the treasurer but when you are looking at the atma karaka you are looking at the president of the country the country is your chart and the atma karaka is the president but as sunili ji mentioned a lot of the ancient literature does not connect the atma karaka with the nakshatra the uh, typically the atma karaka is discussed from a perspective of the graha so the most basic layer that we understand the atma karaka is how big of an influence that that graha or that planet will have in our life uh another way that i like to understand that is the planet that is the most important for you to have a positive relationship with that planet because this is extremely key for example mercury is my atma karaka so it is very important to understand i have to have positive relationship with mercury i have to work on my spiritual evolution with mercury and also when mercury get activated through transit when my atma karaka and the nakshatra get activated through transit or through dasha this will be very significant so someone in saturn mahadasha i'm very excited for my mercury dasha also because it is my atma karaka nakshatra um now atma karaka planet now when you look more specifically at the nakshatra when you're talking about the atma karaka you're talking about the planet that will have one of the most significant influences in your life if if all of the planets uh all of the navagraha are helping each native to make decision then it is the atma karaka which makes the final decision it is the it it all of the energy gets brought to the atma karaka and it is actually the atma karaka which is likely to express it or to make the final decision also in terms of personality aspect of the individual the nakshatra 
embeds itself into the personality. Very, even though we see Lugna and, 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 and Moon and Sun and different aspects influence personality. Also the Atmakarika Graha and the Atmakarika Nakshatra are going to have a very significant influence on the personality. For example, as a Mercury Atmakarika, I can keep talking and talking and talking and talking. It's always been part of my personality that uh, I can keep speaking and speaking. Many astrologers do a uh, 60 minute reading, but I prefer 120, 150 minute reading. And this is just because I like to get as much uh, comprehensive analysis in as possible. Now, this is just some general aspects of uh, Atmakarika, but now we are going to focus on Atmakarika uh, Nakshatra. Now, as we know, each nakshatra is associated with the divine energy. And each nakshatra has certain devas which are associated with it. So if our, if our atmakarika nakshatra, we have to understand what deva the, that our atmakarika is connected to. Because this is a deva which is going to have the greatest influence in your life. Uh, now... If your Atmakarika is, let's say, Ash, it, your son is, uh, is, in, uh, is in a high degree in one of these later nakshatras. Now, you would think that it, because uh, the lower nakshatras, Ashwini, Bharani, Kritika, they're of low degree. Uh, they can be of low degree. But uh, this is important to note that if you have, um, let's say, uh, Ashwini Nakshatra, then the deva of the Ashwini Nakshatra is the Ashwini Kumar. Therefore, this Ashwini Kumar, they almost act like angel. They almost act like, we say, guardian angel. They are watching over you. They are protecting you. They are giving you blessings. They are giving you opportunities in your life. They are guiding the direction of your life. So as we know, these Ashwini Kumar, they have the lords of Ayurveda. Yes. So, so for example, if you had your Atmakarika Nakshatra in Ashwini Nakshatra, uh, it's important that you have these interests in Ayurveda, that you have interest in medicine, that you have interest in ancient sciences. This type of influence towards healing will be guiding this aspect of uh, Ashwini. Um, but it depends what graha is in this nakshatra. So if your son is the atmakarika in Ashwini, then this will be exalted. But if your Saturn is in the atmakarika in uh, Ashwini. Ashwini, it will be debilitating. Yes. So when uh, so that means whether the Ashwini Kumars will either be act like guardian angel or they will pre present you some challenging or difficult opportunities which will help you to grow. In other words, if your Atmakarika is Saturn Ashwini, if your Atmakarika is Sun Ashwini, the, Ash the Ashwini Kumars are still having this strong divine influence on your life either way. However, with the Saturn influence, with the Shani influence in Ashwini, it can be very difficult. That we know that Ashwini has to do with healing and Ayurveda, yes. but maybe some people who have Shani in Ashwini, they have to go through disease. They have to go through physical suffering so that they must find natural healing, so that they, in order, must live a more healing, more positive, more spiritual life. Now, so it, there is a direct connection between the Atmakarika Nakshatra and its Deva and that energy kind of having a protective influence in your life or not so protective, more, more, more evolutionary, which means there's more challenging, more adversity. For example, let's move on to Bharani Nakshatra. Now we have Lord Yama. So if you have the if you have this strong influence on your Lord Yama in the life, that means that you are always being judged. Lord Yama is the one who judges our karma. 
So this is, this is a very, uh, can be either very uh, positive. In other words, if we're receiving a lot of judgment from the gods, from the devas, we can either use this judgment to better ourselves, to advance ourselves, to grow ourselves, to become more successful. This is a good example of Sun and Barani Nakshatra, if, if it's the Atmakarika. But if you have Saturn in Barani Nakshatra, this can also be much more difficult. This can also mean that Lord Yama, that maybe you have committed some actions in the earlier part of your life and you still have to pay for those actions that you took earlier in your life very much later in your life or as life goes on you are still so so the question is if if the, the question is is not whether the deva's energy is with us with the atmakarika nakshatra because the deva is with us Whichever nakshatra deva, that deva is with us in our atmakarika. But how does that deva treat us? If, right. it's in, if it's in good dignity, I think that that deva will tr try to help us uh, achieve the aim of life wherever that atmakarika house is. So, for example, if um, you have um, sun atmakarika ashwini in the 10th house, this will show that the Ashwini help you improve your career. They want to support second aim of life, Arta Bhava. So they want to help you with prosperity and success and financial security, and they will prosper you in that direction. But if Saturn is in that position, Arta will be challenged. And still the Atmakarika is saying that it wants you to evolve so that you can achieve that aim of life. In other words, just because you have debilitated Saturn up Makarika, it does not it does not mean that um, you cannot achieve Arta if the Saturn is in the tenth house, or okay. that you will not be successful. It just means that you have to do more work. Um, one way that uh, I understand the debilitations is because the term debilitation and exaltation is poor English translation. And these, they don't carry the, the real meaning. But when something is debilitated, a planet has low dignity, that means that the person has to work three times more hard yes. for, for the same result that the someone who has it in exalted or high dignity has to do. So it's not that if your Atmakarika is in poor dignity, that that Deva is not with you, the Deva is certainly with you. So again, if you, if you, as you move through the different nakshatras and the atmakarika, understand that deva's influence on you. Um, now, uh, and, and, and how that's going to be kind of influencing and guiding your life. Because uh, for all of us on a spiritual path, what is more important than to understand our relationship to the divine? And when you look at this Atmakarika Nakshatra, it shows you what aspect of the divine you are to focus on, you are to give spiritual energy to. So that's just what I wanted to say to start. I, I have some other things we can discuss on the Dasha and how the Nakshatra will influence the Dasha. But the main thing I want to emphasize about Atmakarika Nakshatra is the influence of the Deva on the life. Like, if you get into Kritika Nakshatra, though, if, if, if you're moving into Kritika Nakshatra, <laughs> on the high side of it, you have Lord uh, Kartikeya and Sri Agni. And um, on the lower side of it, you have the demon Taraka. Tar Taraka Sora. So this, this, this energy shows that if this is the Atmakarika and you have high dignity in Kritika Nakshatra, then this, this energy of Agni, this energy of Kartikeya, not only should you be in devotion to that, but this is the type of personality or spiritual energy what you possess. But if you have difficult position of Atmakarika and Kritika, if we're using Rahu, uh, it, it, or and K2 as possible Atmakarika positions. Or we're looking at another difficult position of uh, maybe instead of being pulled to Kartikeya, instead of being pulled to Lord Agni, they are pulled to the demon Taraka. 
So they, they have to understand that if it, it's, it's the Amakarika Nakshatra is so important, but also the Graha, which is affecting that Nakshatra also has equal importance. We must know the Atmakarika Nakshatra, but also how that planet will interact with the nakshatra. Um, and certain planets will do better uh, depending on um, the, the ruling de deity and the ruling planet uh, of the given nakshatra. So these are just some different aspects which I wanted to start. Sunili Ji, um, I, I'm so excited to hear uh, what you would like to say as well. Oh, Sunili, I can't hear you yet. Uh, so this was very nice and meaningful, uh, you know, uh, conjoinment of the nakshatra and atma karaka planet. It is very nice because uh, deities are always there to bless us and to show us the path. So what I always feel that wherever your atma karaka planet is posited in your chart, so uh, as per our uh, scriptures it is always mentioned that atma karaka planet is your soul where your soul is driving towards as you said that atma karaka is the president so atma karaka is the king so totally all other planets will decide as per the king's will that where the path will take that person to where that native because natives total thought process natives total uh, uh, willingness or the characteristic as well as the you know uh, all the uh, secretions of the body are just uh, running towards the atma karaka planet unless and until atma karaka planet is positive or benefit because it is not necessary that always atma karaka planet will give good fruits only atma karaka planet has to be benefit planet to give you uh, fruits in the shubha, shubha fall it, it will give or it will give benefit fruits. But if Atmaka, Atma Karaka planet is a malefic planet, as per that chart, as per, because always we have to see the Karkansh Kundli for this and whatever the Naumansha comes as per the Atma Karaka planet, we have to place the Atma Karaka planet in the first house. We have to make the Karkansh chart and then we have to read the chart that how this native will be and how the fruits that native will get. Secondly, as I was talking that if Atma Karaka planet is posited with some uh, benefic planet also, because at a time uh, in Naumansha, along with our Na Atma Karaka planet, another planets also may be there. It is not necessary only one planet will be there, right? So there may be sun and moon also. Amavasya Yoga also will be there. So in that case, if your Surya is becoming the Atma Karaka planet, so it will overcome the values of that moon also. So the thoughts will become lesser and the ego will grow more in that case. Now in that case, you have to see the Surya Nakshatra in which nakshatra that sun is posited. Say for example, the sun is posited there in the hasta nakshatra. Okay, that is in Virgo sign. So hasta nakshatra is a totally creative sign. And when moon also is posited, being the benefic planet with the atma karaka planet Surya, that time what will happen? that person will be driven totally towards the creativity, learning the arts, learning the new things, learning the talents. This person will be very emotional person also, as it will give fruits of Hasta Nakshatra also. Okay, always this person will be uh, intellectual as well as very research oriented personality, no matter than what planet it is it will take the characteristic of that planet also. If Atma Karaka is Saturn in Hasta Nakshatra, so it will be Moon and Saturn together. So whether they are friends to each other or no, that also we have to see. Nakshatra Lord and Atma Karaka planet, whether they are friends, if they are not friends, then there will be 
weird thoughts of this native that native will be with wavery mind or say very detached personality because the saturn and moon will come together even though that person has some caliber within or some creativity within uh, him or her but still the exposure won't be there because atma karaka is saturn and it is in uh, uh, not friendly nakshatra but if this saturn being the atma karaka if it is in the venus nakshatra se purva falguni nakshatra it is okay so saturn and venus are friends to each other so it will definitely give good fruits to that native so we have to see in this point also if moon is of rahu nakshatra if moon is the atma karaka planet but if it is of rahu nakshatra because as per parashara rahu is counted uh, in the atma karaka uh, theory because what parashar ji has mentioned in one of the shloka that if two planets are of same degrees say rahu or and surya are of same degrees then both can be taken as atma karaka planet and as per jaimini the things are not clear whether to take rahu ketu as per atma karaka or amatya karaka theory or no so it totally depends on us that how we are interpreting the thing or how we are getting the result because we all have our own perception our own readings our own experiences through that planets now so many people will be having moon as the uh, atma karaka planet with rahu with rahu or ketu nakshatra so in that case sometimes it becomes difficult that whether how to read this chart if we do not have to take the rahu with atma karaka planet as nakshatra as per nakshatra we can read it but if rahu is also with highest degree than other planets in that case we can take rahu as well as very similar degree planet or a uh, uh, five distance degree planet we can take as a atma karaka planet if rahu and that planet is within the Five degrees. Okay, so the total what I have seen that person is uh, grabbing or person is having all the characteristics of that nakshatra. How you said that deity is there to look after the planet. Uh, sorry, look after the planet as well as look after the native. Same way, the nakshatra deity also nakshatra characteristics because nakshatra are divided again into that. Four children, what children that person is having? That that deity will also work there. So that is again the deeper thing. So this way we have to interpret the atma karaka and nakshatra. I always see the friend, enemy, and how they are coping up with each other. Also, when we are seeing the chart as. Uh, uh, in a way of reading or in a way of studying here i would like to say that if your uh, atma karaka planet and its nakshatra are placed together in the chart say for example your uh, you are having mercury as a atma karaka planet okay so if that mercury is of uttara falguni nakshatra surya and in your chart if you have sun and mercury together then mercury is getting dikbala like fruits i am not here talking about the directions but it will get extra boost to give fruits of that particular house where it is placed in so signification of that house will increase automatically because nakshatra lord is also sitting with that atma karaka planet so double benefit and both are friends to each other sun and mercury then secondly you have to uh, assess the chart that whether they do, this mercury is yoga karaka planet for this chart or no that is functional benefit planet 
so so many things we can correlate with the atma karaka and nakshatra and again we have to see the yogas also if uh, atma karaka and nakshatra lord are in trying to each other in the chart they may be in trying to each other as i i talk about surya bhut they cannot be in trying because they cannot go far away from each other but in case of if a uh, surya is or uh, if sun is in the uh, uh, another nakshatra like saturn nakshatra and if they are in trying to each other they are in 311 yoga to each other so definitely it will prove good so we can read in this uh, manner also so what are your what you say have you experienced such uh things while reading the chart or while studying while researching 100% in all of my experience everything you said i agree with and is 100% accurate um another way of describing exactly what sunili said just in a different way is uh a few things one is that you have to look at the planetary relationship when it comes to atmakarika and its nakshatra so if you have uh, atmakarika in uh like uh mars and it's in atmakarika in let's say um rohini nakshatra okay that is very different than having moon atmakarika in rohini nakshatra um this it's so significant i that it's almost like it shows the spiritual evolution of the individual because the person who has born with moon in rohini atmakarika position they have very high spiritual evolution with the moon so they already come into this lifetime with a lot of strong spiritual evolution when it comes to the moon the person with the mars in the rohini nakshatra atmakarika they have more difficult inner relationship with the moon there is much more spiritual evolution and much more spiritual work for them to improve their relationship with the moon uh the mars can be very erratic and uncomfortable in uh rohini nakshatra so you're looking at this planetary relationship as being significant one thing also sunili said if the um planet which ruled the nakshatra is the same as the nakshatra or the planet which uh uh ruled the nakshatra is uh is conjunct with the nakshatra this is very benefic yoga this is very positive position in which it supports a functional benefic a very uh fruitful nature i think i'm lucky that my mercury is in jaishta nakshatra so mercury my atmakarika is in its own nakshatra so i think that that should be beneficial when i finally get out of this saturn mahadasha so as we continue to understand these nakshatras we understand that when the planet is not is not friend or at least neutral uh the planet which ruled the nakshatra which um that the planet it's in is not friends with that it create a lot of more difficult functionally malefic energies which means there's a lot more spiritual work to do but those people with very high dignity which could say okay the planet is in its own nakshatra the planet is a uh, conjunct with uh the other nakshatra now another thing which sunili mentioned is malefic conjunctions let's say that um the ruling planet of your nakshatra is conjunct with rahu is conjunct with ketu not only will that um affect the energy of the atmakarika giving some with rahu and ketu some confusion and unpredictability um but when the it it also the signs so then you're affected the the signs and and if there are planets in those other rashi then those are also affected for example if you have um uh the a planet in a sun ruled nakshatra and your sun is in k uh your sun is with k2 in libra then also uh venus is affected 
so you have to look at these different positions because it can really have a it's not just the Atmakarika, the Atmakarika Graha, the Atmakarika Nakshatra, but also whichever planet is the ruler of that Nakshatra, you have to look at the Rushis in the chart. You have to look at the position of the Atmakarika in some of the divisional charts, perhaps. Um, so this could be a very significant way of uh, using Atmakarika Nakshatra as well. Um, Another very interesting thing is the dasha of the Atmakarika Nakshatra. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about this as well, Sunili. Um, but that the Atmakarika is like a president, but it hasn't necessarily been elected. And it's the gochar, the transit, and the dasha, which will elect the president. So the president is always there. The always the potential for that, but that doesn't mean that it is fully unlocked. But when it goes through activation through Dasha and activation through transit, that is when the president gets elected. So a lot of people will say, I have Atmakarika uh, in a very strong Nakshatra mm -hmm. and I'm not experiencing the fruit of this. And that's because one of the ways that karma works, there are many different types of karma. But one way that we understand karma is in terms of potential karma. Our whole lifetime is potential karma. From that first breath, the whole rest of our lifetime is the potential karma which hasn't come yet. And we can understand the Atmakarika sometimes at this position. You may have a very strong Atmakarika in a very strong position in your chart, and you may be wondering, why do I not experience the fruit of this Atmakarika? Why do I not experience the connection with the Deva of this Nakshatra? And that is because um, even though that is the president, that sometimes the president has not been elected yet. Also, this is even more significant when you find the Atmakarika in um, Dustana Bhava. Because when you find out Makarika in 6th house, in 8th house, in 12th house, especially the 8th house and the 12th house, um, this aspect of this huge potential quality of you, and if it's functionally benefic, this thing which will really give you great fruit and prosperity in your life, that it is hidden from you. In the 8th house, it will be hidden from you. In the 12th house, it will be in another land, or it could be in another place, or another lifestyle altogether. So, again, just having a good Atmakarika in a favorable Nakshatra does not guarantee the fruit. We have to understand through Gochar, through Dasha, full activation of this Atmakarika Nakshatra. Uh, in, even in my personal experience, when I look at my position of my Mercury, I think of the Atmakarika, I should be author, I should be writing book. I haven't wrote any books yet. I am thinking during my Mercury Mahadasha, I want to write book about karma. But in, in general, I it's something which oftentimes it, it, it is influence our personality every day. It does influence our evolution every day. But the, the culminating of its full fruit has to get activated through transit and dasha as well. Um, yes. Sunili, do you, what do you yes. agree on yes. this? Uh, yes, the dasha plays a very important role because to get the events because see by birth we are bringing all the planets okay by birth we have exalted or debilitated planet by birth we have uh, in naumansha we have exalted planets or debilitation of planets but we are not experiencing the fruits because that dasha has to come in our life because if the person is get if person's atma karaka planet is say for example venus okay and this venus if he is of Venus nakshatra only, it, it, it can be of any nakshatra. So what this person will experience that in Venus dasha, the maximum fruit, this person will be getting uh, like uh, whatever dreams or whatever uh, uh, all uh, ahiksuk, what we say, material life or blissful moments in material life, that person will experience. But at the same time, we have to see that if this uh, Venus is Atmakaraka planet, in what 
uh, Rashi, it is Pozichedi. If it is in Surya Rashi, if it is in Leo sign, okay, then definitely this Venus in Venus Dasha will not fruit the fullest. The events will take place, definitely, because Atma Karaka planet is our Atma. That is why name Atma is given. That is why the soul name is given to that planet. Because with the maximum degrees, it is said that from your past birth, whatever belongings you left behind or before fulfilling certain things, one is taking birth, uh, one is dying and then person is taking again birth. So that remaining degrees, that person is getting as an Atma Karaka planet. We are calling it as a highest degree planet. Okay, but in any birth, the, uh, say for example, 26 degree is the highest degree planet in your chart. So one Rashi or one house has to fulfill 30 degrees. Okay, so that four degrees were utilized in any past birth. And 26 degrees have to be utilized in this birth. That is why planet is called as the Atma Karaka planet because the soul has come with pending karmas. And whether this uh, native, whether this soul is able to utilize the full strength of that planet in this birth, that will totally depend upon the fifth house of the chart. Because fifth house we see for the past karmas. Fifth house are the uh, uh, past punyas. That is a bag of uh, bliss in the fifth house. So if Atma Karaka planet and its nakshatra are having connection with the fifth house of Naumansha chart, because Karkan chart we have to see as per the Naumansha only, then only we are experiencing good fruits. People see the Atma Karaka planet for D, from D1 chart also. But when we go to D9 chart, that time we know the actual position of that Atma Karaka planet. So to see the spiritual evolution, to see, see the spiritual inclination, because always we read and we see that Atma Karaka, we see for Moksha also how it will fruit. But it totally depends on the nakshatra in which it is placed in. As I was talking about the Saturn and Moon together, as you were talking about the Rohini and Mars together. So if Saturn is posited being the Atma Karaka planet in Moon and Nakshatra, say if Saturn is of Rohini Nakshatra, so Rohini is the exaltation sign of Taurus sign. Okay, so here Taurus sign will also get activated in the chart. This is little uh, deep I am uh, talking. So what will happen here? The Saturn is not very comfortable with Rohini because Rohini is very creative and Rohini is very selective. Whereas Saturn is not selective. Saturn is on these spot things. Saturn loves the work. Saturn loves the hard work. Saturn loves the surrender. Saturn loves the dedication. Whereas Rohini doesn't love dedication. Rohini only knows to love. Rohini only knows to give affection, to give emotions. So what is happening here? Saturn is asking for devotion also. That is why people having Saturn and Moon in strong connection, I am talking about Nakshatra. If in that chart, if Saturn being the Atma Karaka is of Saturn, uh, Moon Nakshatra and Moon in the chart is becoming Atma uh, Amatya Karak. Okay, if Moon, the Nakshatra Lord is becoming Amatya Karak, then definitely this person will drive towards the spiritual path. Because 
it is getting the more power of saturn and moon the saturn will ask saturn being the king atma karak will order the amartya karak planet as you were talking all the ministries all the ministers so that saturn will order the moon to go in the way of virakti so it is one type of pravajya yoga okay saturn and moon they are not compatible with each other that is why people get detached from the present situation they give up very fast so this way also we have to see the uh, uh, strength of that nakshatra lord also nakshatra lord plays very important role while seeing the amartya karak or atma karak planet then automatically other bhatru karak matru karak all planets are there we have to see all nakshatras whether they are friend to each other what are the distance of atma karaka planet nakshatra and amartya karak planet nakshatra whether the atma karaka nakshatra and amartya karak nakshatra are friends or no to give the fruits unless and until they are not friends definitely they, they will hesitate to give the fruits even though god uh, even though that deity is ready to give the blessing but because of our karmic cycle we are not able to get the fruits as you were talking about the saturn posited in the ashwini nakshatra in the initial part of our session and surya in the exaltation position in ashwini you were talking about that so what is happening here surya is making the person as a doctor and saturn is making the person as a paramedical person to give services that 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 person may be into public services in nursing in giving care okay so this is the difference of debilitation and exaltation of same nakshatra they are in the same profession of healing but the positions are different they are learning the same anatomy they are learning the healings but surya is with power whereas saturn is with services so same way we have to judge all the other planets so this is what i always i am already doing some uh, work on it i'm trying to read the charts if you go through the politicians chart many politicians many saints also you will definitely find the connectivity of nakshatra lord and atma karaka planet in their charts and then only you will find the fantastic result of it in a positive and negative both ways so uh, what do you say about it yes i mean everything you said i have to agree with and i'm just going to say it in a little bit different way and that's that you have to look at the dignity of the nakshatra lord the dignity right. of the nakshatra lord is essential because when we're talking about the the soul identity and the soul's indicator and the soul's direction that the nakshatra lord uh and its position is significant so if you have um the the moon uh and it's uh, your atmakarika in a rahu nakshatra then you have to look at the position of rahu and oftentimes with the nodes we experience not just a uh, challenge but also if it's functional benefit a lot of reward a lot of uh a lot of success a lot of material success with rahu so when you're looking at this um manifestation of the nakshatra lord you have to understand okay this is what my soul is striving for this is what my soul wants to be that's the atmakarika and like sunili ji said many great gurus many great teachers many great leaders who are successful there is a strong connection between the nakshatra lord and that nakshatra lord being in strong position that nakshatra lord 
being in good dignity. This is the greatest amount of spiritual evolution that one could receive. So even if your nakshatra graha is in a good position within in a favorable, friendly nakshatra, but then the nakshatra lord is in very difficult position, then it shows there is still much more evolution to go. There is still a connection to be made. So just because you have good um, relationship with your atmakarika and um, doesn't and the graha of the atmakarika does not mean that you have good relationship with the nakshatra lord. And so I think what Sunili Ji is saying, okay, the first layer of evolution is how do we improve our relationship with the graha nakshatra? Then the second layer of evolution, how do we improve our relationship with the nakshatra lord? So the highest, most favorable, most auspicious of all Atmakarika positions is the Atmakarika is in, a, is in high dignity Rashi, in, in a high dignity Nakshatra, and then also the Nakshatra Lord is in a very good dignity and good position and good Baba in the chart. So that is the most greatest amount of success. Now, the so... The question is, is okay, just because my Atmakarika is in good position graha-wise, how about the Nakshatra Lord? There's always another layer of evolution to go. And then also one more thing Sunili said is the relationship between the Atmakarika and the Ayatmakarika. And oftentimes they can be conjunct because, again, the planet with the highest degree and the second highest degree, they're not always that far away from each other. So um, my uh, uh, Mercury is Atmakarika at 24 degrees, and my sun is Ayatmakarika at 21. So they're very close together. So you also then have to see, first of all, if they're in the same nakshatra, okay, how does the Ayatmakarika, how's th how, does, how does the conjunct planet do with that nakshatra lord? So then it goes to another layer. Just because the Atmakarika is functioning well doesn't mean the Ayatmakarika is functioning well with it. And as Sunili said, the relationship between the Atmakarika and the Ayatmakarika, if it's Saturn and Moon, these planets can have a difficult functioning with each other. I think Sun and Mercury is a little bit easier. Venus and Saturn, Venus and Mercury, uh, Jupiter and Mars. These are some of the energies that can operate a little bit well together. When, uh, but, but just because those graha are there, how about the nakshatra lord? How does Jupiter do with that nakshatra lord? How does Mars do with that nakshatra lord? It's, it's, it's very interesting because what if the planet, which is in the second position, which is the Ayatmakarika, has a better relationship with the nakshatra lord than the Atmakarika? then this becomes much more complicated. Even though the Atmakarika is what the soul is striving for, it might not be what is strongest for the person. It doesn't mean that there's not room for growth there, but if the second uh, Ayatmakarika has way stronger bala, has way stronger dignity than the Atmakarika, then even though that's what your soul is striving for, then you're still not there yet. And then through the activation of the dasha, hopefully it will get you closer to the fruit. So is that, I think I, it's just a different way of explaining everything which... No, no, this is, uh, this is very vast and very deep. Uh, uh, we uh, go on getting the new uh, dimensions to look at the planets, to look at the nakshatra, because we love astrology. So... So many things uh, come in our mind because basically uh, many people see the Atmakaraka planet to see all the all the fruits in our chart. Say for example, from Atmakaraka planet, we have to see the tenth house. If if we have to judge the profession of a person, what profession this person may be or may go in, so we have to see the tenth position from Atmakaraka planet in a routine way. But same way, we can also see that whether the Nakshatra Lord of Atma Karaka or Amatya Karaka planet is posited 10th to this uh, Atma Karaka 
or along with any planet whether in 10th house this uh, 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 plan, uh, nakshatra lord is sitting so definitely that person will divert or that person will work in that uh, planet related uh, field only so th this is very uh, fantastically giving the fruits only thing uh, we have to just keep our eye on that and we have to just uh, uh, note down the things because our uh, rishis have given us so 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 much good idea so much good literature that uh, that uh, we do not have enough time to grasp that so many births we have to take to learn more we are just uh, uh, this is like an iceberg you know so so many things are uh, hiding so uh, uh, anything else you want to uh, talk about it shanati atmakaraka nakshatra yeah one more thing about the atmakaraka nakshatra as we as we dive into research of nakshatra there are lots of different classifications and when you look at the classifications of the nakshatra we relate them to the atmakarika and they have significant significance for example every nakshatra is either a deva nakshatra a human nakshatra or a rakshatrik nakshatra yes. which is a demonic nakshatra so we have to understand if our atmakarika is in a demonic nakshatra that means something that doesn't mean that you're a demon that's not what i'm trying to say um but it does mean that there are demonic qualities asurya qualities yes. that we are that we are evolving from that we are evolving through also each nakshatra has its position in the caste system we have shudra we have kshatra we have merchant we have a uh, guru class so we have all of these different castes if you're as as sunili ji mentioned there is strong indication between the past lifetime and the atmakarika so is significant of the cast of the atmakarika the cast of the atmakarika might show not only in your past lifetimes where what caste system you might have fall under but also where your soul what what social class what 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 economic class in this lifetime is your soul striving for is your soul going to be most comfortable with um you know we can look at also k2 and other un, uh, energies to understand our past lifetime but just because let's say we were priest in past lifetime uh for example uh moon in a in a in a in a in a priestly nakshatra or k2 in a priestly nakshatra might show that we have past lifetimes in the priestly caste but that doesn't mean that our atmakarika nakshatra in this lifetime that is what we are striving for just because our past lifetime was um a higher class or a higher caste doesn't mean that that's what our karma is in this lifetime so even though i may have been a priest in a past lifetime in this lifetime i'm a husband i'm uh i run my own astrology organization it's very different energy than that but it shows what kind of social situation social class social system is most comfortable for you in this lifetime when you look at the atmakarika nakshatra and its association with the caste system we don't use the caste system anymore but it still has metaphoric and symbolic significance do you agree sunili ji yes i totally agree because nakshatras are divided to see all these characteristic only that you talked about the varna all four varna and uh, uh, nakshatras has uh, typical eyes also like we say andalochan nakshatra or we say that uh, 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 sulochan nakshatras or with uh, you know that eyes of nakshatra okay so these all things totally uh, we can relate to the atmakaraka planet or in our planetary position how we are relating uh, planets to a nakshatra same way with atma karaka we have to particularly relate that nakshatra with amatya karaka also okay. 
with bhatrukarak matrukarak tarakarak everywhere we have to relate this uh, uh, positioning of the nakshatras and then out of this whichever becomes the powerful if you uh, if the uh, if one has a uh, will to go into the spirituality or how my spiritual uh, evolution or inclination will be so you can decide by the strength of that atma karaka planet and which nakshatra is the highest uh, powerful nakshatra lord that will decide your spiritual journey okay merely being the if one is having atma karaka planet of jupiter but that person is not at all into spirituality it is not necessary that person may not be spiritual also it is not necessary that for uh, exalted jupiter person will be spiritual only i have seen so many charts they are not at all spiritual not at all okay so this this totally depends on the quality dignity as you said of nakshatra as well as the quality dignity of that atma karaka planet and quality and dignity of the zodiac sign it is placed in as we have to see the relationship so so many things plays important role dasha transit nakshatras planets their connectivity with each other uh, so many things we can make out uh, from a single positioning also so i wish that uh, everybody must have uh, benefited from this session and uh, uh, i wish that we could do more session related to nakshatras because nakshatras are fantastic uh, topic or fantastic uh, you know uh, it has a liveliness within it nakshatras when we talk about the nakshatras so we have to discuss about it and um, i would really love to listen more to you if you have come with some more uh, research on it this would be lovely for me i know this is the start of many great discuss discussions to come when i first uh started studying jyotish within a couple months i knew that was what i wanted to devote my life to then when i found the nakshatra i know this is one that i wanted to specialize in i know this is what it, i wanted to concentrate on because yes there are all these other aspects of the chart the graha the rashi the baba and all of these things which show us our spiritual karma and our spiritual evolution but i don't find i haven't found anything which is so much specific as the nakshatra the nakshatra is so specific that it will literally tell you the exact lesson what your soul has to learn and to me that is the whole point of being alive is for our souls to learn the lesson that we are supposed to learn in the amount of time that we have and i don't think there's anything greater than the nakshatra and the devas to to help us do this work so Asunili ji I look forward to many more um discussion of nakshatra together. Yes sir here and thank you very much for sharing your value views with all of us. I hope everybody must have benefited and uh, I would uh, rather appeal all that whatever queries or uh, genuine queries uh, if you have please uh, put in the comments so that at least we will also come to know their point of view because many are learners many are researchers as well so here i end up the session and once again i thank you and do follow the shanati astrology also and he is uh, uh, holding fantastic webinars and a few webinars are already lined up in april and august right so yes. i i uh, i ask everyone to uh, join the those webinars you can visit his uh, uh, page also kshanati nakshatra or uh, and uh, on his facebook also you can visit and these are uh, registrations are necessary must but the fees are nil this is all free webinars related to nakshatras with highly qualified masters also 
there is a lots of uh, learning out of it so i asked everyone to join the webinar and thank you so very much shanati see you soon namaste namaste sunil